What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we're going to be testing out Luca in a Gruul combo deck. So uh, it's kind of a mid-rangey combo, but I've seen a lot of Luca being played around in a lot of different shells. This is actually one that uh, in doing some digging I found. A lot of the ones that I was seeing were much more control focused, uh, which I do think kind of makes a little more sense. However, uh, this is much more all in on the combo. Um, I can really do some cool stuff, I will say. So uh, the idea with Luca is his minus two is fantastic. Essentially, you get to sacrifice a creature you control, uh, excuse me, exile target creature you control, uh, then reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a creature card with a higher converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your deck. Now, uh, if you will notice, most of our creatures here are in the two drop slot. Now, uh, we don't really want to be sacrificing a Gilded Goose or really one of the tokens from Perforos' invention if we can help it, because nine times out of ten we're going to land into one of these. But uh, with all of these two drops, we have this massive gap here into all of these. These are our game ending cards. We have uh, Draguseth, we've got Endraith's Forerunners, and the Impervious Great Worm, all of which are very very easily gotten out with Luka uh, and so the idea here is in the early game we get to ramp up get our Luka out very very quickly sacrifice one of our rampers to hit one of these guys and then finish off the game very fast so with that uh, to look through the deck here all of our rampers we've got Paradise Druid, Incubation Druid, uh, Elysian Caryatid uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly uh, as well as Gilded Goose these are all to help us ramp up now uh, if, uh, th this one's a little bit of an interesting one, this is, uh, only going to add one mana most of the time, but if we've got a creature with power four or greater, obviously it's going to add two, so that can actually build us up to the point where we could just play some of these, uh, in tandem with things like Incubation Drew, which kind of does something similar if you would, uh, adapt it. This is also a great one for this deck because it just gives you something to do with all of the other mana that you probably have laying around. Uh, now the Crashing Drawbridge is an interesting include. Uh, only a two of here, but it does give your creature haste, which is very, very good uh, if you've got especially either the Impervious Great Worm or the Maw of Flames coming out. Uh, great to be able to just give it haste right away. Uh, Domery here, a great way to just, excuse me, either continue playing your creature spells or, um, you know, fight other opponents' creatures or just buff up your creatures. Fantastic there. Uh, Perforous' Invention does give you uh, a bunch of, like, X1... Uh, red elementals which or excuse me a x1 red elemental with haste which is very very good you can really do some damage with that because it does have trample uh, or uh, you can kind of take out creatures or planeswalkers with it we've got a lot of ramp here we can make x very very large so this is actually a really cool include uh, luca we've already talked about again we're looking to minus to this as quickly as we can uh, and ideally just kind of get one of these big dudes out uh, Nissa gonna help ramp us. Uh, so again, if we if we just need something to do, Nissa is gonna help us get there. Uh, Vivian lets us play cards from the top of our deck if they are creatures, which is amazing. Uh, and uh, when you cast your next creature spell this turn, uh, if you minus two or search your library for a creature card with lesser converted mana cost and put it onto the battlefield, that's actually pretty helpful with some of these. Like if we, uh, for instance, if we get to impervious great worm with a lot of tokens uh, or, or excuse me, a lot of convoke triggers out. Uh, we can actually just go and fetch out one of these guys. Or Enray's Forerunners actually gets Maw of Flames as well. So very, very cool kind of tech stuff here. This also just spits out a creature that we needed, you know, to sacrifice here. Granted, the, the thought process is it'll probably hit one of these guys. Uh, and then, of course, we do have our finishers. Now, Impervious Great Worm, 16-16 Indestructible with Convoke. Very, very strong. Um... Worth of Owning does not have Trample, uh, so we do have to find a way to get that damage through, but obviously very, very strong. Uh, Endrace Forerunners gives Trample and plus two, plus two, and Vigilance to everything on the field the turn it comes out. Uh, it itself also has Vigilance, Trample, and Haste, so very, very strong. Uh, and then Maw of Flames here, 7-7 seven, seven Flyer. Uh, whenever it attacks, it deals four damage uh, to any target, and then three damage to up to two other targets, so you can kind of spread that damage out. Uh, now, as far as our lands go, we are running 21 
because we do have quite a lot of rampers. Uh, so we're three mountains, six forests, uh, four stomping ground, four temple of abandon, and then four fabled passage. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one, if I have to say. Uh, kind of nervous to try this one because, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I I feel like if it does work, it's going to be great, uh, but the chances of it working may not be super high. We'll, we'll do the best we can, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> also want to say a huge thank you to everybody who entered our giveaway uh, as we're waiting for game one here to start. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we already announced the winner. Thomas uh, Lennon was our winner, so congratulations to him, but really seriously the support and the the number of people that kind of turned out for that was amazing like truly amazing so thank you thank you uh yeah this is keep we do have the luca and the the two drops here we'll see if we can do it um let's get temple of abandon out first uh yeah we'll keep a fable passage i don't love fable passage but you know that's fine <laughs> Let's get this out, and we'll just go ahead and get this out. <laughs> Next turn we can Domri, uh, which we'll most likely do. Uh, Incubation Druid, uh, it's helpful, but I don't think we actually need it right now. Just do that. Uh, put green out. And there we go, we can get Incubation Druid down now. That works out great. Um, so next turn, we can actually Luka. Um, we'll hope it actually works, but um, the assumption here is that they're probably gonna do something pretty good, but nope, maybe not. Um, well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get our red. Perfect. Let's play Luca. All right, this is it. This is what we're trying to do. And there it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. No, we're not gonna attack. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um. Unfortunately, this does have uh, Hexproof, so we can't actually uh, fight it off, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, and this very well might be a similar list to what we're running. Uh, we just may have gotten there a little quicker. Um, they could have the Luka this turn, but it looks like they're short of land. Just a guess. Now, we can actually Luka again um, and see what we get. Uh, <laughs> man. Uh, that's so sweet. Um, okay. <laughs> Target a creature I control. We'll get rid of this Paradise Druid here. Um, let's play out our Temple of Abandon. Don't really need another Domery. Uh, and let's go ahead and we're going to cash this in also. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's what we were wanting. <laughs> now it has trample. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the deck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was really cool. Um, I very much enjoy this. That was a sweet, sweet deck. All right, we're gonna try again. Uh, we're gonna go for two more games. Um, guys. Also, while we're um while we're kind of just waiting. A uh, couple things I want to mention. These islands are available. Uh, I know I've, I've tried to mention them every once in a while, just so you're aware if you're interested in just the islands, they're available in our store. I know a lot of people have been asking, when's the cycle going to be out? Uh, they're on their way. Uh, I'm doing the best I can to get them out as quickly as I can. Unfortunately, uh, we're a little bit behind um, due to coronavirus and all that stuff. We've had a, a slower turnaround on a few things, which, you know, is to be expected, obviously. Um, but uh, they are, I mean, they're, the prints are ordered and everything. They're on their way. Uh, it's just taking a little bit of time. That's all. Uh, Luca is a very good draw, in my opinion. Um, I think we'll keep that? Question mark? Um, I 
let's play let's play the paradise druid it has hexproof so i think i'd rather get that out first uh just because they can't like shock it or anything uh against a calamity deck i have to imagine as long as we get there on our end we're probably okay um but obviously we have to get there we also have to hit our lands which is pretty important um let's do this let's do this we're just kind of shields upping here um making sure that we've got enough mana rampers to get there so next turn if we really want to assuming they don't kill one of our one of these guys we're actually okay uh and chances are this deck i mean they're they're gonna do some massive damage this turn but yeah that kind of sucks um it's to be expected uh we're not gonna block if we get a land which we didn't <laughs> uh actually the no that doesn't do it for us does it um well, hmm. It's Incubation Druid. And we'll play a Gilded Goose out. And we'll pass. We kind of just have to hope they don't have another shock. If they don't have another shock, like, we're in decent shape, but... Uh, yeah. So we do get to block here. They could have an Ember Cleave. Yeah. Which is not good for us. Does it kill us though? 6, 12? Not quite. Uh, 7. Doesn't quite kill us though, right? We're down to 1. So we are going to get the Luka off. Get rid of this guilt. Oh crap, that was a mistake. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have trample. Oh god, that was so stupid. Uh, I literally. So, this that was the mistake of this deck is um, if you sacrifice a one drop, chances are you're going to just hit one of our two drops. That was just a misplay on my end. A uh, bit of a misclick, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into game three and we'll see what we can do. We did get to combo. Um, it just did not, uh, go our way. That was very, very silly, but you learn. Gotta learn somehow. You learn the wrong way, but that's okay. Uh, sorry for the frame rate drop here. Uh, I'm gonna actually go ahead. What I'm realizing with these frame rate drops is a lot of them are dependent on who I'm against, uh, which is kind of silly, but I mean, it makes sense Two networks trying to get together, so... Let's um, let's go ahead and jump into another one and just see. We're experimenting, but it looks like that might help it. Um, at least in my experience, that's been helping. <sighs> let's also, uh, we get to publish a video really quick. Played Demir Reanimator, uh, which was super super fun. Oh my goodness, it was a fun deck. Uh, that was a bit more of a homebrew. Uh, which was cool. Uh, this is more of a list that I just kind of pulled. So, uh, if you're on our Discord, you will get notified uh, in the um, in the general channel anytime that a new video comes up. If you're following us on really any social media, you'll probably get it, uh, except Instagram now. Um, trying to find ways to get these videos out to you guys a little bit more efficiently. Also, been looking at the analytics. Um, something like 20% of our audience. Uh, is actually subscribed to, to the channel. I'm not, I mean, you do what you want to do, but if you're watching our videos anyway and you enjoy them, um, it would mean quite a lot for you to subscribe. Um, just because without that, um, you know, the viewership's fantastic uh, and all that stuff, so certainly we appreciate that. I don't want to, don't want to come across as inconsiderate, but um, it does mean quite a lot for us to have the uh, subscriptions as well, um, especially being a small channel like we are. Um, really anything will help. So uh, that would be fantastic. We'd certainly appreciate it if you would. Uh, 
sure. Probably gonna get rid of something here. Okay. Uh, happy to say we do have the Luca, but a um, little worried about getting it down, to be honest. Um, we the one thing that we don't we do have twenty one lands, so we know that that's you know a slight risk of this deck. Um, we've got tons of mana rampers, but if they just don't survive and against a mono red deck, that's a little a little sketch. But um, we certainly are doing the best we can. Yeah. Go ahead and resolve all here. This little pingers deck is annoying. Cute, but annoying. All right. <clears throat> kind of just, I mean, this, if they don't shock us, we're okay. Uh, it, just in terms of we will get Luca out. All right. Let's make sure we sacrifice the right thing this time. It's pretty crucial. Incubation Druid, let's get you out of there. Woo! We did it right that time. <laughs> uh, granted, I mean, they've got a lot of damage that's going to be coming through here, but... Um, oh, man. Yeah, they've got a lot of damage. Yep. Do we just lose? Because they're dealing like... Yeah, we do just lose, don't we? Man, that was a ton of damage coming through. Okay, so here's the deal. Despite our misplays, um, <laughs> I think this deck is really sweet. Uh, it's fairly efficient. Um, we do have to be a little bit careful with the lack of lands, but so far... I'm feeling pretty good about it. Now, I know we only won one. One of those was just my misplays, though, so, you know, take that as, as you will. Uh, but I, I think that this deck is really, really sweet, so I'm excited about this one. Uh, really excited to get into uh, the second video with it as well, so do stay tuned for that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you for part two very, very soon. Uh, thanks again for all the support lately, guys. We really do appreciate it, uh, and I will see you in the next gameplay video.